and welcome back to the second part of the customer billing system so I'm going to exit out in fact let me show you guys all of this information on my worksheet there, there they are on the worksheet but I can, as you can see the worksheet has no there's no title there or okay let's just enter those titles anyway and then we'll take it from there and this is going to be first name surname and let's just speed that up okay they all now have titles so I'm just gonna make make that bold so let me increase the font size as well let's make that about yeah maybe 12 or 14 that's fine right so save that as well and let's get back to our interface user in a uh, user form so let's run it again and see there we go you see the the headings are now displayed right that's fine so I, I'm going to confirm that I've finished up with that very part of it so let's take care of the total now so in the case of total we need all of this maybe we should declare maybe we should declare an array so let's come in here double click on total so right there I'm going to say let's say dim um, cakes or cake whatever let's go for about 15 of those as double right the very first one is going to be let's say this and paste that there instead of copying this okay let me just copy this to speed things up i'm going to copy all of this here right and just change it around so the very first cake there paste that in there and that will be zero equals zero there okay array always start from zero so that's the very first one this will be the second one and so on then we take care of the calculation right and let's just change the numbers around that's one two three four five six seven okay so we need to multiply this by the cost of each item okay and let's just make up the the cost for the for each item and I will maybe speed that up and get back to you guys okay we now have the value for each of the cakes so let's do one more thing so that would be number eight number eight equals adding all of the values together that would be cakes number zero zero and add it to number one grab number one there and so on so copy that and just paste it around there we go so that's one two three four five six seven right so this would be subtotal there we go and that's wrong that should be here get rid of this for the total undo that mistake for the total that will be 8 plus this plus 
whatever I'm going to have in there that might be for nine that will give me the that's where we that's what I'll use to work out my tax let's say multiply by 0 0.7 okay divided by, divide that by 100 that should give me the tax right and that should be 9 cut that off the, let's say number 9 for that right that's cake 9 there we go right so right here the first thing I've done here is work out that's supposed to be my tax you can always declare tax there if you want you can just say deem maybe I tax as double and I tax in this case equals this so that's our I tax so in that case so the tax instead of entering that you just put that in here that's the tax so we work out the tax with, and store that in here assign that here and tax is there assigning to here and so on okay there okay let's try this out I'm just gonna go up here and run it let's see we're gonna enter whatever value in there and let's see we we'll click on that there we go but supposing we don't have anything in here and what's going to happen okay let's see all right let's say we add zeros and delete whatever we have what will happen we have an error okay so let's do something about that okay let's end that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here you see this let's copy all of this you might be wondering what am I going to do with that I'm just going to paste that no I'm going to paste it right in here yeah let's paste it right here and I will then use an if statement here so if if whatever we have in here is nothing then I want this I want it to convert it to zero for me enter is zero here and and if so if you look at what's going on here is what if whatever value you have in that in those text box if it's empty just change it to zero so let's try that out now there's nothing in there there we go you see that it's working fine right let's enter values here that is good but one more thing we need pound sign here we can we know the value or the amount of uh, cakes that we want but we need pound sign let's grab a pound sign on board so double click on that and let's come right down here and enter pound sign right here so I'm just going to say and let's see if that's going to work paste and okay so let's try this out if it doesn't work then we use another method so let's come in here there we go it's working no I don't like six right there okay okay but there's another problem you can see this value so we need to find a way to at least convert it to just two decimal place so let's reset and exit yeah so let's go back into total right here so let's try this out run as a function within 
VBA cell two. I think that should work. Okay, and let's repeat the same thing here as well. Let's see if that's gonna work. Okay. Run comma two. That's just for this. Alright, let's come in here and do this. Let's see. Okay, what about this other one? And let's say comma two here as well. Okay. No, oh, there's a two missing. Right. So let's run it down, see what's gonna happen. Enter whatever in there. And there. There we go guys, you see that? Now it's working as expected. Supposing we then enter some details here and name here. Let's say Paul Omen. And address number one. Let's say Godson road PO boss one Q T mobile number email address or gmail dot com gender mail proof of ID pilot Pilot license, room number. Okay, that's my room on this very hotel. If I click on total, yeah, let's just add something else and click on total. Add it to the workbook. There we go. Look at the information on the workbook. Look at that. Okay, and we also have it on the spreadsheet. There we go, guys. So just for your information, this tutorial is actually at a request of one of my viewers out there. Okay guys, so okay, there's an error I would like you guys to be aware of which I'm going to correct now. You see if I click on reset because the data I have in here are directly from the from the spreadsheet itself, there will be an error. Look at that. There is an error and there. So what I'm going to do is I was not meant to clear that itself. So I'm just going to delete that. So you guys just remember to take care of that. And that is it. So if I populate that reset, nothing will happen. So that's fine. With that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And you all have a nice day now. And bye for now.